What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. Today, I thought we would talk a little bit about graded coins, uh, more specifically, just the coin holders. So I was watching some AG, or the uh, Kansas Kid, and he has some really good videos uh, talking about the different types of slabs, um, like the different types of collectible slabs. So I would suggest you go and watch his videos because he's going to do a much better job than I could ever do. Um, but it made me want to take a look at my collection because you guys, you're constantly learning <laughs> in the coin collecting and stacking and I, so I really like these soapbox holders. Uh, so these Annex soapbox holders, these are my favorite. Uh, they're called the soapbox holders because they look like a box of soap. <laughs> so if you search on like eBay, I typically do like soapbox holders, or Annex soapbox and you should be able to find them. But I was looking into, so when I first, these are the only soapbox holders I have. I just have three. So I'm just kind of starting my own adventure into the old annex slabs. But, so the very first soapbox I bought was this guy. And this was at my local pawn shop actually. And then after I got this, I was like, heck yeah, I love this. <laughs> I want to get some more. And that's when I purchased this from eBay. And then I got this from my LCS. And then after I got these three, I was kind of comparing them. And there are some differences. And so that kind of led me down a rabbit hole doing some research of the different types of holders, um, different types of soapbox holders. And so I'm going to link in the description uh, two really good websites or sources that kind of show you the history of Annex slabbed coins uh, as well as PCGS slabbed coins. So kind of like the very first generation of holders all the way up until uh, today. And yeah, so I was just kind of doing some digging, digging around from some research. And I noticed, so these two slabs are the same. These two soap boxes, they both have the barcode and on the back, what you can tell the easiest is that these Annex logos are gold. They're gold chrome logos. So these are like generation six, I wanna say, like gen five or gen six. Uh, it'll show on that website that I'll link for you. So these two are the same. They're kind of more so common, a little more common uh, than your other soap boxes. And I noticed this one was a little different because this one doesn't have a barcode and it's actually uh, like smaller than the than those two. So I was like, okay, what's the deal with this one? And then also, so no barcode, but it does have like a serial number and some letters. And then on the back, this one is not gold. It's like a orange, yellow, gold. So this turns out to be like their generation two. So right after the very first soapbox slab, which I plan on getting eventually, looks really close to this, uh, except the back it has like an orange 
um, logo and it has like a genie lamp on one side and I believe the annex logo on the other but you're looking for like an orange logo with a genie lamp and that is the first annex soapbox that there is those are a little more uncommon so but I did learn the most uncommon, like the rarest soapbox slab that you can find are actually going to be just like this guy, except for what you're looking for is the serial number without any letters. So if it's just numbers, like no SC or any letters at the beginning, then you have a fairly rare soapbox slab and again you can see this on that link that i'll put in the description because i think sharing information is always beneficial and um yeah it's just kind of cool it's just kind of doing some reading up on the different holders my favorite is the soapbox my second favorite would be like the older PCGS slabs. So I really like the OGH, like the old green holders and the Rattlers. Uh, I don't have any of those yet, but I did bring out the few variations of PCGS slabs I do have. PCGS is, I think, more difficult um, trying to determine which generation of slab you actually have. So Annex, it's a little easier because you have either the barcode or the back. It's a different like color. For PCGS, um, and also it's like generation one, generation two, generation three. PCGS has like generation one, generation 1.5, 1.6, 2, 2.1, 2.2, you know. So it's like um, a little more challenging for me anyways to determine which exact generation these slabs are. Like for example, these two slabs look very similar. They have a similar color, but one has a barcode, one doesn't. This one looks like it's a little blue. This one's a little white. This one has the coin number. So, I have a few of the, I believe these are generation four, but like what variation of generation four? I have no idea. Like, is it 4.1, 4.4? <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't tell you specifically, but I do like, this is kind of like middle, not like really old, but not super new. Um, I personally don't really like the new blue fade to white kind of logo. Um, kind of like how I don't like the new Annex yellow logo. I think the yellow, the new Annex logo that they have right now is just like the ugliest slab in the business. I love Annex. But man, you guys got to change that slab. <laughs> Go back to the soapbox. That would be so cool. They did like a retro reiteration. But PCGS, I have a couple of the somewhat newer generations with the blue fade to white. But to be honest, I, I prefer like the older variations. So like whether it's like light blue or just kind of like white and especially like the OGH and Rattlers for PCGS. So I'll get some of those eventually down the road, but my ultimate favorite is definitely gonna be the Soapbox, <laughs> just like AG. Um, I just think these are so cool. They are, I like the tininess, how it can just kind of fit in your hand. I like the square. Uh, I just I like everything about it, uh, personally. But yeah, I just 
was kind of going down a rabbit hole and realized I got pretty lucky with my very first soapbox when I bought this from the pawn shop. I didn't really realize what I was buying. I knew it was a soapbox, obviously, but I didn't know the variations of soapboxes. And this tends to be a, a more rare version. So kind of cool. All right, that's it for me today, you guys. I just kind of wanted to share with you guys some cool websites, some resources I found that I learned a lot from, and just talk a little bit about coin holders. So again, I would check out uh, the Kansas Kid. He has a sweet uh, Ben Franklin half dollar collection and all sorts of different types of slabs. It's like Annex, NGC, CG, or ICG, I believe, um, PCGS. He's got a sweet collection. I would definitely check it out. Um, so, hey, thank you guys for watching. That's all for me today, you guys. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.